Hey, good morning. Rich here with Summit Life Group. So are you in sales but lacking confidence? Um, if so, you know, it's, it's a challenge, right? If you're not confident, um, it makes a big difference when you are uh, in sales. When you have confidence in what you're doing, when you have confidence in your ability to sell, um, it makes selling that much easier. It makes taking action that much easier. It makes your results better when you are confident. So the question is, um, is confidence something that you just have, uh, especially as it relates to sales, or uh, can you develop it? I believe to my core, uh, wherever you are on the scale, wherever your confidence level is as it relates to sales, I believe you have the ability to increase it to build your confidence, which will in turn get you better results. So the question is, how do you build confidence in sales? And so I really believe it starts with the foundation of keeping your commitments to your activities um, that you set, keeping the commitments to yourself, honoring your commitments. That's, that's step one. We call them targets in sales. You have your goals. If you're in sales, you want to make a sale. You want to sell something, right? That's your goal. But what leads to you achieving that goal are your targets, your activities that you have to do on a regular basis to bring yourself to, 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 to achieve a sale. And so it really starts with your, with your targets, your activity level. And this is where it's important that you set an activity uh, goal or target, set an activity target, and then you keep it. This is this is step one to building confidence. So what does that mean? Okay, well, you're, you're, you're um, let's say you're selling life insurance, what we do, and you're learning to sell over the phone, for example. Well, it, it has to do with you have to reach out to people. You have to make dials. You have to give presentations, okay? So it starts with, and maybe it's leads. So you set, you set some targets. I'm, you know, it could be a small target. Purchasing, investing in, in a lead and some leads, making a dial, right? Dialing those leads, giving some presentation. So in the beginning, maybe you set a really small target, whatever it is. If you're, if you're really lacking confidence, well, could you make one phone call? You say, well, that's not going to get a lot of results. No, it probably won't. But if you make, if you set a target to make one phone call and you actually do it, you actually will be a little proud of yourself. You may not feel super confident yet, but you honored a commitment to hit a target. Next, maybe you expand on it. Next, tomorrow you make two dials. You look back and you say, wow, I actually did it. I made two dials. Started with one, then I went to two. The next day it's three. You get the point. You build on it. You, you, you make those uh, you keep the commitments that you make. Don't, don't, you know, people that are lacking confidence and say, okay, tomorrow I'm going to make, you know, 500 phone calls. Well, they don't do it because they're not confident that they actually can do that. So set a target that you will keep, that you will, that you will, that you will hit. And, and, and regardless of the results, you'll start to feel a little bit of confidence building because you're doing what you told yourself you were going to do. Next, what happens if that's that's thing one thing two, if you continue to to honor your commitments to your activities, you continue to hit your targets and expand on them. Eventually, what happens is a sale comes. It, it will. I don't I mean, it will. If you do it long enough and you keep honoring your your commitment to your activities, a sale will come. Then over time, a sale will never another sale will come. Well, now an amazing thing starts to happen because the little voice in your head starts to say, when you hear someone talking about sales or selling life insurance or whatever it is, whatever you're selling, all of a sudden, the little voice says, I can do that. I'm, I, I've been able to make a sale. And, and the voice in your head starts to change. Your self-talk your self gradually starts to change. Why? Because it all started with you honoring uh, your your commitments that you made to yourself to do the activities, however small in the beginning, and building on them. To then you make a sale, then you make another sale. Now you start telling yourself, you know, I, I, I can do this. I've done it. I've made sales, and and it naturally starts to happen. Which in turn, that positive self talk 
builds your confidence even more, which helps you to keep honoring your commitments to your activities, which makes you get more sales, which makes your your positive self-talk that you're telling yourself start to change. And so I really believe that's how it starts. It's very simple, but it starts with, with making some commitments and sticking to it. Make a small commitment. Do one push-up, right, as it relates to fitness. If, if you do one push-up and that's more than you've done in the last 20 years, well, guess what? You can feel a little bit good about it. Tomorrow, do two. The same thing applies to sales, and then you build on it, and then your positive self-talk begins to change. People say, well, why can't I just jump right to the self-talk? You can do that. The problem is when you tell yourself, oh, I'm, I'm, oh I can do this, I'm great at sales, right, your subconscious says, well, no, you're not. You know, you didn't call anybody yesterday. You're too scared. You're a chicken. But when you've been doing the activities and you've been sticking to your commitments that you made, now your self-talk is real. And it says, you know, yeah, you are. You're good at this because I've been showing up every day doing what I said I was going to do. So I hope it helps. If you're looking to increase your confidence in sales, my message to you is you can. But it starts with deciding what are the small activities, however small they may be, that you're going to commit to and then do them and be proud of yourself for doing them and build on that. That's where it starts. So I hope it helps. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you're, uh, if it helps you, uh, if you have some questions, comment below. Love for you to subscribe to our channel. We just want to help you as, as uh, whether you're selling life insurance or whatever, I think you can provide, you can get value, I hope, from this channel. But love to hear your feedback and have a great day.